Hello everyone, once more you are welcome. If today is your first time to come across my ministration, my name is Mirabel. Thank you so much for watching. Today while I was studying on the word of God, the Holy Spirit began to minister to me. And he said to me that a lot of people have shut open doors that were meant to bring them lots of fortune because of their disobedience. A lot of people have lost miracles that were supposed to bring testimonies because of laziness. A lot of us have stopped opportunities that were coming our way because of our stubbornness. He says most of the time, the Holy Spirit ministered to us on what exactly we should do. And we neglect it or we ignore it. Or we act as though we don't know exactly what he's asking us, but he's giving us clear instructions. And he's telling me to instruct you today that it is only when you start following instructions that he will continue to direct you. It is only when you, you start following instructions that he will continue to open those doors for you. While I was studying in the book of Exodus about the children of Israel before they left Egypt. One major thing that I saw was the fact that before they left, since their separation, the separation of the children of Israel with the Egyptians was a major thing in the lives of the Israelites, God gave them clear instructions. He said, first, you have to choose amongst your animals or choose the animals, a healthy animal, a healthy lamb, lamb one that does not have any defect. And then next, you have to keep it for 14 days. And then after 14 days on the night of the crossover, you will kill it. And then you will cook it. You will, you will burn it and you will eat. And everything must be eaten in one night. And that's why he gave the instruction that if a lamb is too big for a family, the family can share with their neighbor so that they will make sure they eat everything. And in addition, if they do not eat everything, the leftover should be burnt. He even gave instructions on how to dress when eating the meat. He says they should wear their sandals and hold, that Moses should wear his sandals and hold the staff in his hand. And then he said the bread that will be eaten with the meat should not contain yeast. Those were instructions that were given to the children of Israel. So same instructions have been given to most of us in this day, in our lives on daily basis, and we neglect them. Sometimes God is telling us all you need to do is pray every day for 15 minutes and I will come to communicate with you. Every day pray for 30 minutes and all I will do is come to communicate with you. And yet we are so neglectful about that. He's telling some of us, all you need to do is start investing $10 a month to start the small business you want to do. And yet we are neglecting. He's telling some of us that I know you want to have all the money in the world before you can get married. But I'm telling you that go ahead and get married and I will bless you and your wife. I will bless you and your husband. I will multiply you in finances. And yet we are so we are so neglectful. We are like, we want to have all the money. He's telling some of us that all you need to do is to hold tight to the faith. Start buying baby clothes, knowing that your baby is coming. And yet you, you keep neglecting the, the, the voice of the spirit. He's speaking to you. He's giving you clear instruction. And all you need to do, child of God, is to follow the instruction. And because you have neglected it for too long, that's why your door has been shut. That's why that miracle that was supposed to happen in your life has not taken place. Just because you were supposed to do it and you have not done it, you have shut so many doors in your life. Just because you were supposed to be praying, you neglect the prayers. You have shut the doors in your life. Just because all he's asking you is to pick up your Bible, to go on the street and start ministering the word of God, winning souls for Christ, and every other thing will fall in place in your life, and you have neglected it. And because of that, doors have been shut in your life. He's telling you that all you need to do is to start giving to the widows, giving to the orphans, and your pockets will be full with plenty 
and you have neglected those instructions. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 15, it says those who are lazy will go hungry. And verse 16 says, those who keep the commandment of the law will have their life, but those who neglect the commandment of the Lord will die. That is the instruction of the Lord for you today. Child of God, I don't know what instruction God has been giving you, but because you have neglected those instructions, that's why things are so challenging for you. That's why things are so difficult for you. That's why things are still going very wayward for you. I don't know what instruction God has been giving you, but I've come today to let you know that your breakthrough is from the instruction. Your breakthrough is from that instruction. In this year 2022, if you want to prevail, you have to follow those instructions. Instruction. In this month of March, if you have to prevail, you have to follow the instruction. My prayer for you this night is that child of God, you will start depending on God, depending on the Holy Spirit for instruction. He says that he will instruct you on what to do. He will teach you. He will direct your path on what to do. And he has been faithful in doing that. I pray for you that you will be keen enough to understand the voice of the Spirit. I pray for you that from today you will be keen enough to understand the voice of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. That when the Spirit speaks to you and instructs you, you will obey in the mighty name of Jesus. My prayer for you is that the little things that you have to do to open those doors, you will start doing them in the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to pray, let your eyes of understanding begin to open. Let your ears be open to the voice of the Spirit. I pray that you should receive a willing heart to start obeying what the Spirit wants you to do. That you will not be stubborn, you will not be hardened in the name of Jesus. That you will, from today, you will live according to the Spirit. That from today, you will live according to the, to the beatings of the Spirit. That whatever He instructs you, you will do in the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to pray that let your heart be emboldened. That every time the Spirit speaks to you, you will understand. I pray for you that you will receive zeal to live according to the Spirit. Because it's only when you live and follow instruction from the Spirit that your life will be, peace, will be peaceful and successful. I pray for you that from this day forward, your heart is important to follow the voice of the Spirit. That your heart is agile towards the things of the Spirit. That whenever the Spirit speaks to you, you will understand. Just as the crossover was very critical in the lives of the Israelites, so are the different situations in your life. And that is why God is taking time because it is a major breakthrough in your life. He is taking time to give you those instructions. I pray pray for you that from today, you will follow those instructions in the name of Jesus. That from today, you will live according to the things of the Spirit. That from today, all you will be hungry for is to follow the things of God. Because that is where your life will be successful. That is where your breakthrough will come from. That is where your financial blessings will come from. That is where your breakthrough in ministry will come from. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your children receive the grace. Let your children receive the grace to follow instructions. Let your children receive the grace to understand your voice. Let your children receive the grace to walk according to the spirit of the Lord. Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor because you are God. When you speak, it is for us to obey. And when we obey, Lord, you fulfill your word. Let your word be fulfilled in our lives. Let your word be fulfilled in the lives of your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to say thank you so much for taking your time to watch this powerful ministration. As you continue to meditate on the word for today, God will bless you and your eyes will be open to see a lot in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. God bless you so that whenever a video pops up, you will be the first to see. God bless you and thank you so much for watching in Jesus name. Amen.